Hey guys, in this video, we'll be looking at pH, pOH, as well as some common acid base indicators. So stay tuned. First, let's take a look at pH. It's very likely that you've come across this scale before. This is the pH scale. It is from 0 to 14. When a substance has pH 7, it is said to be neutral. If it has a pH of less than 7, then it is said to be acidic. And if it has a pH of more than 7, then it is said to be alkaline. So this is the pH range. From 0 to less than 7 is acidic, 7 is neutral, more than 7 to 14 is alkaline. But what is pH? pH is simply a quantification of the concentration of hydrogen ions. It is a way to quantify the concentration of hydrogen ions in a substance. And this is done by taking negative log concentration. So this here is the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution in moles per dm cube. This is very important. The unit here is moles per dm cube. So for example, if I had an acidic solution with concentration of hydrogen ions of 0 0.005 moles per dm cube, then to calculate the pH, all I have to do is minus log and insert the concentration here. So it will be minus log 0 0.005 moles per dm cube. And if we put this into the calculator, we will get a value of 2.3. So the pH of a solution that has a concentration of hydrogen ions of 0.005 moles per dm cube is 2.3. And this is in the acidic range since it is less than 7. Now what happens when we increase the concentration of hydrogen ions? So let's say the concentration of hydrogen ions is 10 times more. So now instead of 0.005, it is 0.05. Now, when we do the calculation, minus log 0.05 moles per dm cube, then we will get 1.3. The pH is 1.3. So you can see when we increase the concentration of hydrogen ions, the pH is becoming lower. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the lower the pH. Let's try again. Let's make it even more concentrated, 10 times more. If it's 0.5 minus log 0.5, we get 0.3. So the higher the concentration of hydrogen ion, the lower the pH. This is why as we go down here from 7, 7 is the neutral point. When we go left, the lower the pH, the higher the acidity. A highly acidic substance will have a lower pH compared to a less acidic substance. Now let's look at pOH. pOH is calculated using the same concept. This time it is minus log OH. So pH is minus log concentration of hydrogen ions. pOH is minus log the concentration of hydroxide ions. And again, the concentration of hydroxide ion has to be in moles per dm cube. Let's use examples of hydroxide ion concentrations to see the effect on pOH. Let's use the same values. So first we start with a very dilute concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution which is 0 0.005 moles per dm cube when we do minus log of this concentration we get 2.3 then when we increase the concentration 10 times so it becomes 0 0.05 we get 1.3 this is pOH because we are looking at concentration of hydroxide ions then when we increase the concentration further by 10 times 0 0.5 minus log 0 0.5 we get the pOH is 0 0.3 so similar to pH here, the higher the concentration of hydroxide ions, the lower the pOH value. Here we are dealing with pOH. However, we classify the substance as acid or alkali. When we are using the pH scale, we don't use pOH. So what is the relationship between pH and pOH? pH and pOH, when we add together, we must get a value of 14. This is the relationship between pH and pOH. So if we knew the value of pOH, then we can get the value of pH by subtracting the value of pOH from 14. So 14 minus pOH, we get pH. Similarly, if we know the value of pH, we can also find the value of pOH. But in this relationship, we know that if the pOH value is low, 
then the pH value must be high because both must make 14. For example, if pOH is 2, 2 is a small value, then pH has to be 12, pH has to be high. If pOH is high, for example 13, if pOH is 13, then pH has to be 1 because they have to both add up to become 14. And we know that when there is a high concentration of hydroxide ions, the substance is highly alkaline. So when it is highly alkaline, it has a very low pOH as we calculated just now. The higher the concentration of hydroxide ions, the lower the pOH. So when the pOH is low, then pH will be very high. And this is the reason why in the scale, pH scale, alkalis have high pH, more than 7. Strong alkalis will have a low pOH and therefore a high pH. The higher the pH, the lower the pOH and the more alkaline the substance. So here a substance that has a pH value of 14 is more alkaline than a substance that has a pH value of 11. But for acids, it's the opposite. For acids, a substance that has a pH value of 1 is more acidic than a substance that has a pH value of 5. And 7 is neutral. So this is the pH scale. Now let's look at some common indicators of acid and base. First, let's look at the universal indicator. When we put a few drops of universal indicator into a solution of a substance, then the universal indicator will change color according to the pH of the substance. So this is the color that will form based on the pH of the substance. This is not the exact color, but normally when we have the universal indicator, it will come with a scale. So we can compare the color of the solution form after we put the indicator to the scale to determine the exact value of the pH. So on the acidic side is red and then it goes through, it goes through orange, yellow and then neutral is green and then from green it goes to blue and then it goes to purple. So there is a shade of color as we go from the left acidic is red and then alkaline is purple, highly alkaline is purple. And this is the indicator that can give us a specific pH value. So if it is uh, this shade of blue for example, then when we compare the solution to the scale that is given to us, to the, color, the diagram that is given to us in a cut, it normally comes in a cut, then we can tell the value of the pH is 10. Or if it is orange color, then we can tell the pH value is 4. So universal indicator gives us specific pH values of the solution. Litmus paper. So litmus paper comes in two forms. We have the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper commonly. So the red litmus paper Whenever we put in acidic solution, it stays red. So remember this, for litmus, red is always acid, blue is always alkaline. Unless it didn't change color, then it is neutral. So let's look at this. Red litmus paper, when we put in acidic solution, it stays red, acid, red. But if we put in a neutral solution, it is also red because originally it is red, it didn't change color. When we put in an alkaline solution, it will turn blue alkaline blue and then for the blue litmus paper when we put in acid it turns red acid red when we put in a neutral solution it doesn't change color it stays the same then when we put in an alkaline solution it also stays blue alkaline blue so this is litmus paper let's take a look at other common indicators so for litmus solution litmus can also exist in solution form not just litmus paper so when we put a few drops of litmus solution into a substance then if the substance is a neutral solution, it will be purple in color. Acidic, red, again litmus, acid, red, alkaline, blue. And then we have methyl orange. Methyl orange, when we put it into a highly acidic solution, is red color. The neutral solution, it will be yellow color. Alkaline solution will also be yellow color. So methyl orange is only suitable when we are looking at a highly acidic substance. For neutral and alkaline, it gives the same color. And for phenolphthalein, it is pink in alkaline solution. In neutral solution and acidic solution, both it is colorless. So again, we won't be able to differentiate between neutral and acidic solutions. And notice that these solutions do not give us specific pH values. This is only to determine whether they are acidic, neutral or alkaline. These indicators cannot give us specific pH values. If we want specific pH values, then we have to use universal indicator. That's it for this video guys, I hope you've learned something. If you have, please hit the like button 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.